Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another modification that I made to my Sanctuary Thor van. Now this modification can be used on any B-Class RVs, especially the ones with the Thule bike rack. Now as you know, one of my modifications was installing this Owl Vans spare tire and to install this spare tire I had to raise up the Thule bike rack. Now I'm left with all this space underneath the bike rack. So I was thinking a great way of making good use of this extra space would be able to carry some extra water and some fuel along with me. So wouldn't it be great to install a rotopack system that had an extra fuel container and an extra water container? Well, you know what? In today's video, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to show you how to install the rotopack system that can help you carry extra fuel and water with you. I'm going to show you how to install it and let's get started. This is what I purchased. Now I'm gonna leave links for you in the description. So first of all, I've purchased the Rotopax Universal Mounting Plate, the Rotopax Cargo Racks, the Light Bar Mounting Bracket Kit. These are the containers. There's the potable two gallon water container and the two gallon diesel container. I've also purchased a lock to secure them in place. I have some extra black spray paint for touch-ups if needed. And here's a look at the tools that I will be using for this project. And last but not least, there are one and a half inch bolts with nylon lock nuts that I purchased from my lo local hardware store. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is install the light bar mounting brackets. Now, I've selected the grommets that fit nicely around the bike rack. So I'm just going to install it loosely. And by using these, I don't have to drill any holes into the actual bike rack. So once I've installed them loosely, I'm then going to take measurements so that I can have them lined up to my mounting plate. So now that I've got these light bar mounting brackets in place, I'm going to take measurements so that these holes line up with my mounting plate. So I've measured it up and I've already drilled the holes in. Had to apply some touch up paint so that the metal parts could be covered up. And I'm lining it up and it seems to line up really well. So now on to the next. Now the next step is to assemble the cargo racks. So you do that by placing it, aligning it with the holes and screwing in these bolts. So now I'm going to install the cargo racks onto the mounting plate. Now, if you purchase the four gallon container, you have to turn these cargo racks this way, but I have the two gallon containers, so I'm turning them this way. So I'll start by inserting these. So now that I've installed the cargo racks onto the mounting plate, I'm going to grab my one and a half inch bolts, and I've already tightened up the light bar mounting brackets. So I'm going to mount this using my one and a half inch screws. I'm just going to get that one in there and then I'm going to tighten them up. So now I'm going to grab the washer and the nuts and place them on the screws. Also got my tools. So I've tightened everything up and you can see how nice and sturdy it is. So time to install the containers. 
is the water container and it fits nicely on there just like that. The diesel container will go right here and the final thing to do is screw these on in. And here's what they look like installed. As you can see, they fit nicely under the bike rack and they are still adjustable. I can adjust them up or down. I have my two gallon potable water here on the left and my two gallon diesel here on the right. And I can still open up the rear door and it swings right open and they do not get in the way at all. I hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye for now.